Hey guys, Dylan Nussbaum here. As far as fishing artificials, I love pitching artificials. I, I honestly don't even throw live bait that much anymore. And some of my favorite baits throughout the whole year are paddle tails, jigging wraps, flat jigs, and ripping wraps. So this is a number seven ripping wrap here. A lot of the times I like throwing these and the, uh, when the fish are really aggressive, I guess, in the fall and springtime. A little extra thing you can do with the rip and wrap is to put on a VMC bladed treble. I, I do like to throw it on there just for something a little bit different. Now you can put it on the tail or the belly on this one. It's just something a little bit extra that you can throw out there, just a little extra flash that them fish like to key in on. I love this bait in the spring and fall time. And especially when you're getting up into the real shallow stuff, I love pitching these. I love uh, actually ripping them more than uh, just reeling them back to the boat. But uh, for the most part, spring and fall time with these baits, um, this is just a walleye killer. Number seven, uh, when the fish get a little more active. Springtime, I'm usually always throwing the number sixes. I get into the jig and wrap and flat jigs. This is really gonna be my all year bait. I do throw it quite a bit in the springtime, but the real killer is summertime and fall time. For me, I can't even really get away from throwing these baits in the summer and fall time. It's just a great reaction bite bait. You can't really beat it. And lastly, are your paddle tails. Now this is gonna be another all year round. Springtime, this is gonna be my go-to summertime, fall time. I mean, it's just one thing that the fish can't get away from. It always works. The fall time though, is probably gotta be my favorite for a paddle tail. I love putting a big jig head on my paddle tails, three quarter or even bigger. Now, that's another big reason I like to use the heavy head is to just for bottom contact. You know, I like to throw this on a bait caster setup. Either one of the two ways, I'll slow roll it back and just constantly feel that tick, 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 keep it right on bottom, or I'll actually rip it back, kind of almost like a jig and wrap. And that way you can just feel that bait the whole way down, glide down, touch bottom, rip it again. And uh, it's just a really cool way to catch them. And with that bigger jig head, so many people say you have to use the lightest jig head possible. And I completely disagree when you're throwing paddle tails. I like throwing a big heavy jig on there, mostly just so you can feel it even better than the uh, lighter ones. And it's kind of a shorter shank jig. Um, and a lot of people kind of try to stay away from that, get a longer shank jig on there. But for me personally, I honestly do not have any problems at all hooking these fish with these jigs. And with the moon eye, it's kind of a thinner wire hook and you can get out of a lot of places when you get snagged and even over a rock and some wood, you can get these hooks out of there. That's a big reason I really like to use them also. But overall, these three baits all throughout the year, I love pitching artificials and these are just three of my favorite baits to use.